I'm Tennessee Thompson, son of Dixie. He ain't causing nobody no harm. <laughs> he ain't got nothing worth taking. Sure as hell, it ain't worth killing. Pussy cats uh, uh, taking him to Deadwood. <laughs> I've been a big fool ever since I had General Grant in my sights at Shiloh. Didn't pull the trigger. <laughs> what you do, white man, skunk? They ain't skunks. It's cats. They kill rats. Go ahead. Help yourself. All Indian camp's just full of rats. <laughs> Oh, 
glad you have my son. Get the rifles. Yeah. Give me that pussy. I'll take that gun, you coyote. Give me that gun. No good engine. You too, varmint. Call my pussycat skunks, will you? Try to kill me, will you? I'm gonna blast your thieving head off! Don't be feeling your own soul, Timer. You ain't aiming to turn these rotten hyenas loose, be you? They cause you no harm. Cause me no harm? They was going to kill me, shoot me down like a rat. Be on your way. You can't trust them Indians, boy. I said get. The only good engine is a dead engine. You confounded young and grave out just full of your kind, boy, and for doing what you just did. Confounded young. Letting them engines go out with this younger generation coming to anyway. They so confounded mad. I we in Deadwood. So am I. Well, you just better come along with me then, if you ever expect to get there. Across the wide Dakota country, where the lone the red bird sing Billy boy he kept on riding like an eagle on dark wings what you gonna do with all them cats I mean the cat business boy yeah, but not for long oh, yeah. I'm gonna load this old wagon here full of gold go back to Tennessee Buy myself a plantation. And I'm going to sit out on my veranda in silk shirts and fancy pants and sip me Do you know where you're going to get all this gold? I'm going to dig for it. You make it sound pretty easy. Oh, nothing's easy in this old world, boy. You have to gold, too? I reckon so. Digging it? They're taking it. I see there's been another shooting. Yes, preacher, it looks like you'll have another busy day. Maybe when we can build a church in Deadwood, people can come to know the Lord. Who was it, Kate? Oh, one of the boys spit on the dance floor again, Charlie. You know how Fancy is about that. That was a nice straw, Fancy. As long as I'm working for you, Kate, we're going to run a clean place. Bert, hit. All right. <laughs> Mighty nice shooting, Fancy. Yeah. It's a wonder if Fancy don't feel his oats and decide to have a go with Wild Bill. Yeah. Well, Wild Bill is coming to town after Billy the Kid. Now, that ought to be a real showdown. Yeah. <laughs> Can't you do anything to stop these killings? Mrs. Stedman, I'm only the deputy, not the sheriff. <laughs> Mr. Harding, is it true Billy the Kid's coming to town? John Slaughter says he's riding in from Santa Fe. Hear that, Ma? I hear it, and I don't like it. They don't come any faster than Billy the Kid. You ever? You're a long ways from being a gunfighter. I can outdraw anybody in town. Maybe you can, but gunmen are something else, boy. Hey, now, boy. You come on home and do your chores. Oh, oh, Ma. Howdy, Hatshaw. Howdy. I see Bear Creek Johnny's at it again. Now, there's the smartest man in town. Never gets in trouble and does a good business. Someday, he's going to be the richest man in did. Oh, Lord, help us. These people, they keep coming. The young and the old into this place. They know not what they do. Oh, Lord, your people think only of gold. I need help. 
And we need a church here in Deadwood. Oh, Lord. We need a church. From near and far, the miners gather. Wildest tales these dreamers told Of the badlands and the town of Deadwood Where the river ran will go They brought along their wives and children The trail was long, the nights were cold brand new day would soon be dawning where they'd all discover gold. Sam Bass put you up to that, Kate? Oh, put your mind to rest, Fancy. The way he's beginning to twist you around, it looks as if he's trying to take over Deadwood. Nobody's gonna take over this town. Sam Bass or any other gunslinger. Just you, eh, Kate? You alone. Flattery will get you nowhere, Fancy Poggin. Well, I didn't know you could read, Bear Creek. Kate, you're the smartest woman west of St. Louis. And? And the prettiest. And? And the richest. And? And you're gonna be all mine. Don't count on it, Fancy Poggin. <laughs> <laughs> now that ain't polite. Ma always taught me to be polite. Poor fellow, maybe ain't got no more to learn him, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chalky, so bring over a couple of glasses here. This altitude is bad. You can knock a fella plumb out without hardly hitting them. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Chucky, bring away those bottles here. How the bet's coming in? Running about 50-50, I'd say. Yeah. Oh, when Billy the Kid hits town, Hickok better turn in his gear to Bear Creek. <laughs> I saw Hickok stand between two willows, draw and fire three slugs, and hit both willows at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Gentlemen, any kindness would be appreciated. Are you still pushing that sack? <laughs> Trying to build us a church and get... Well, now, how do we know that all that money you're collecting is going for the church, preacher? Yeah, let's see what you got in that sack, though, preacher. All right, now. Stop it, boys. Sir Fancy will shoot. Oh, we was just fun and Kate. Why, sure. Now, you wouldn't shoot us, would you, Fancy? <laughs> There's a lot of money here, preacher. Take care of it. The town's growing, Miss Kate. New folks moving in. Someday we're going to have a grand place here. We're going to have a fine church. I'm obliged to. You getting soft, Kate? Supposing you just pick up Charlie. <laughs> Come on, boys. Let's have a good killer. And she's gentle. And she's housebroke. Uh, do I hear ten dollars? Five dollars. That's very nice, thank you. Do I hear ten? Thank you, friend. I hear ten dollars now. Do, do, do I hear fifteen? Do I get fifteen? Somebody bid fifteen dollars. Told this gentleman right here for ten dollars. Neighbor, you got yourself a real steal. Get them while they last, folks. Ain't many left. Oh. Put them over for this little beauty. Her mother belonged to President Jeff Davis, and her father, well, <laughs> what am I bid? Five dollars. Thank you, neighbor. Five dollars. I got five dollars. Do it here, ten. Ten dollars. Uh, uh, here's ten dollars now. Do it get fifteen. Forty dollars. Told it gentleman right here for forty dollars. There you are, sir. She'll purr like a southern belle if you pet her. You are calamity a present for you. Oh, thank you, Walter. This here big fella growed up on freshwater catfish. He can whip mountain lion. I, I named him General Beauregard. That's my old commander. What am I bid? 
Five dollars. Sir, that's an insult to General Beauregard and his good name. Who make it ten? How would you like one of them cats? Ten dollars. Now who make it ten? Me? Oh, you gotta be kidding, Fancy. Those scrawny looking things. Besides, I have enough trouble with my girls. Yeah, they are pretty scrawny looking at that. Sold for $25. There you are, ma'am. <laughs> hey, Kurt, oh, think I'll get me one of them cats. Maybe help my gal to sweeten up a little bit. Yeah, sure, take a couple. <laughs> Makes me feel right sad to part with Mark Twain. I call him Arrow County's Whiskey, the fine mustache. Thank you. <laughs> That'll cost you $100, friend. Oh. That cat come all the way from Omaha. <laughs> You hear that, Ben? That cat came all the way from Omaha. <laughs> Hundred dollars at the cat, mister. Huh? Well, now, take it easy, Sonny. You don't want to go getting yourself in trouble. Tell a kid who I am. Kid? You're talking here to Ben Hayes. And I happen to be Kurt Aiken. <laughs> the money of the cat. Now, kid, maybe you didn't hear what I said. We're Sam Bass's boys. Don't care who you are, the money or the cat. You're a big kid, ain't he, Kurt? Maybe I ought to teach him a little lesson on respect. He sure talks big. Down in the panhandle, when punks like you hear our name, they jump right out of their boots. <laughs> now, where do you want to slug, kid? Because I don't want to kill you. Well, now, suppose you just leave it in your gun. <laughs> Boy, I said I didn't want to kill you, but you keep up with that big talking. <laughs> Kid, don't you know who I am? I'm Kurt Aiken. <laughs> well, now, maybe some of these Eastern folks here ain't hurt you, Kurt. <laughs> but maybe it's time they did. Yeah. I'm going to kill you, kid. Out here, you got to back up your talk. Now, let's just see if you're as fast with that gun as you are with your mouth. Billy, I'm Poker Kate. I run the green front. Oh, but ma'am, I, I... Welcome to Deadwood. I've got a Pretty explain. fancy gunplay there, Billy. But I'm warning you. Sam Bass will be madder than the devil when he hears that you gunned down two of his top boys. Yeah, well, I've seen a Billy here. Well, he can take on anybody, anytime. Oh, it's the fastest gun I ever saw, Billy. Hubert, how many times have I told you to quit playing gunslinger? That's Billy the Kid, Ma. First it was Wyatt Earp, and now it's Billy the Kid. You don't look too much older. You ain't much bigger, either. I don't care who it is. Come on. But you're gonna get yourself back to Billy the Kid, Ma. Hi. Boy, I've been thinking. Why don't you and me be partners? We both want gold. Now, I got the stake to get us started. You got the guns to keep us in business. Partners in what? The mine and business. Sounds good. We, we'll, we'll name it the, the Tennessee Mining Company. How's about it, Billy Boy? Okay. Good. 50 50. I was thinking more like 10% for you. Oh, no. 50 50, Tennessee. But that's half. That's right. Half for you, half for me. Well, look, uh, let's get ourselves a drink and then we'll go find a mine, huh? Ten percent for you. Oh, fifty, fifty. No, it's that. Hello, Billy. They call me Montana. But uh, I'm from New Orleans. Hey, you want to buy a little gal a drink? Sure. Okay. You know, you just bought yourself when the desk claims around these parts. Just a minute, sir. If this is the best claim around these parts, how come you're selling? 
You ain't got no choice. Can't work it on account of my old ticker here. You know, the doc says that heavy work just might kill me. Yeah. So, I'll go over and talk to my partner. finally got rid of that worthless mine. A fool and his money is soon parted. The kid's liable to draw on you when he finds out what you did to the old boy. That kid ain't gonna be around when Hickcock gets here. Who sold you this? Deputy Hart. Poor fellow, he's got a, he's got a bad ticker. He can't work at it himself. Hello, boys. I hear you bought yourselves a mine. Yeah, we sure did. Where? Up near the big side of, side of the pop. You mean the pa, pa Zappa? That's what I say, side of the pop. There's gold in those hills, all right, but that ain't all there is. Meaning? Meaning it's engine country. Prospectors don't last long there. Don't pay fancy no cowboy. Like he said, there's plenty of gold in them hills. Gold nuggets feel right at home here at the green front. Montana sure is a cute little thing, ain't she, Billy? She sure is. We call her our lady in red. Come to think of it, you're kind of cute yourself. <laughs> you know, I was just about to say the same thing about you. <laughs> I'll bet you're a real ladies' man. Oh, no, I'm not one to brag, but I have had my share of fun in with the women folk in my time. Oh, I'll bet you were a holy terror, handsome. Oh. Thank you, Kitty. Now, here's to your mind. against Wild Bill.
birdie say. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. The big pot of Safi's going to make us rich. I'm going to make us a Terwilliger. You're we'll going to make a what? Terwilliger. We'll Terwilliger this whole area. Yes. Tennessee, you still drunk? Drunk, Adam. Back in Tennessee when I was a youngin', I knew this fella, he struck gold in his bean patch. He witched it out. He's like he's hunting for water. Yeah. See it with my own two eyes. Old Daniel Terwilliger was his name. Well, you go ahead and laugh, boy. Yeah, laugh all you want to. You just have to be the richest man in Tennessee, that's all. All I got is Terwilliger. If the Indians didn't know we're here, sure in the hell no now. Better take turns sacking in tonight. Where are you from, Billy? Georgia. You old enough to fight in the war? Georgia 5th Regiment. I was 12 when I went in. <laughs> uh, how come you to drift way out of here? It's a long story. Well, we got nothing but time. Well, after I got home from Gettysburg, I found nothing but ashes where my house once stood. Fields were burned, horses stolen, nothing. My ma never recovered. Pa never came back. Heard he was killed up at Shiloh. So I just took off and headed west. Kept on the moon. That's how you, you got your reputation, eh? Drifting. How many men you figure you, you killed, Billy? I'm not Billy the Kid, Tennessee. My name is Billy May. You mean you're not the kid? I never said I was. They, they think you are in town. Let them think it. The way I look at it, there's going to be a lot less trouble that way. Less trouble. With Hickok and Sam Bass around, boy, you're in for a heap of trouble. Every gunslinger Deadwood's gonna be trying you on for size, boy. And I took you in as a partner. As the genuine Billy. That's right, Tennessee. 50-50. Yeah. But wasn't it gonna be my gun and your stake is gonna make us rich? But I thought you was Billy the Kid. But it's still the same gun that helped you. Yeah. Billy Boy was like a storm cloud. But as the grasses fit the sun, like the pine trees meet the mountain, Billy made his fate with God.
Put him in a dead man, Tennessee. Now you stay awake, you hear? You, you ain't thinking about maybe, maybe cutting out your, your partner, are you, Billy? There ain't gonna be no partners or no nothing if you keep falling asleep on guard. Now I like my scalp just where it is.
Mashijale Mitakwa. Iayapo. Again, young one. Spotted snake, not forget. No harm will come to you for now. You scapo. You scapo, hey. Nimayalo. Washitu, let me talk. I guess that's about the whole story, Billy. But, Paul, you can't do this. Why, you're still fighting the war. Yes, and I'll never stop. But the South surrendered. No Yankee took my sword, and they never will. Never. You saw what they did to our land, how they treated our women folk. And you give in to. But, Paul, don't you understand? The war is over. It's been over for several years, Paul. There's no more fighting. What are you doing here, wasting away your life? Here with my Indian friends, I found something, Billy. The Indians are great soldiers. Look at Red Cloud. I met with Gaul. Crazy horse. Rain in the face. Together, we can annihilate the 7th Cavalry. You mean you're planning war? The Sioux are planning war. I'm what's left of an army. And I, I believe in them and their cause. The Yankees are doing to them just what they did to us. But when we're ready, the Yankees will know such hell as they've never known before. I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. If we can destroy Custer, the Sioux can force a treaty and retain the Black Hills. And then this will become the headquarters for what's left of the Confederacy. Billy, you must join us. Paul, oh, I think you ought to come with me and forget this whole crazy scheme. They need men like you in Deadwood. Deadwood? When I go to Deadwood, I'll take an army of warriors and I'll burn it to the ground. 
and I'll raise the Confederate flag over the ashes in the name of the Sioux. But you can't do that. Don't you see? You're using the Indians for your own purpose. You wait and see. Soon you'll hear what happens to Custer. Oh, you're talking like a madman. I am a madman. I've got good cause to be. Now you stay here with us. You'll think different. I got that from General Longstreet. Little soldier of great white leader. I got a partner. He's working our claim. So I got to get back. Oh, summer. Billy, this is Chief Bigfoot, Chief Gall, and Crew Dog, friend of Crazy Horse. My friends, my boy, will soon join us. He, too, is a Confederate and an experienced soldier. Oh, I ain't joining nothing. I, I taught him how to handle pistols. He... Fast is the best of them. Ain't that right, Billy? Tonight, you sit with our council. Oh, I said I had to go. Why don't you leave these people to their ways? You don't need to teach them white man's war. Teach these men? Why, I learn from them more than they learn from me. These chiefs are great generals, great as any white generals. Gaul could have stood up with Stonewall Jackson, and Crazy Horse, and Crow Dog, all fine field generals. Well, tonight we'll feast, and then we'll counsel, and the Confederacy will be born again, Billy. <laughs> I 
got to be going, Paul. Well, son, what are you aiming to do? I'm sorry, Paul. I don't think your way. Well, go then. But you'll come back. You and I don't have a country. This is our country, our home. No, Paul, this is not my home. Great chief, I do not want any part of war. I only want gold so I can go back to Georgia and live in peace. Peace. All men should think peace. You may dig all the gold you want. My braves will not harm you. Go. Thank you. Bye, Paul. Billy Boy had met his true love, Indian girl with a face so fair. She would be forever faithful, fill her soul with a love so rare. do that. You better go back to your people. You're a little young to be running about all alone. Do you understand what I say? I am not alone. I am with you. You can't stay with me. Why? Because you can't, that's why. I stay. You can't stay. I stay. You see this shirt? This belonged to my partner, Tennessee Thompson. Something's happened to him. It's not safe here. My people not bother you anymore. There's other people here besides your people. Now go. I said, go.
pretty little gal, ain't she, Speck? Mighty pretty for a squaw. Sure looks tender. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> gonna be all right. Was she? Yeah. And whoever did it has a few scratches on him. I found skin and blood under her fingernails. Can I? Can I see her? She's resting now. A little later. Thanks, Doc. like old Andy Jackson's place, with those big white pillars, all pearled up. And I'm gonna wear imported clothes and smell sweet. <laughs> Boys, you're looking at the richest man in Tennessee. Here's a draft in the Wells Fargo Bank in San Francisco, Mr. Thompson. Just signed here. $40,000. And this is just a start, you say? Just a start, Mr. Thomas. You say the engine's got built. Yes, poor kid. I tried to save him, but couldn't. They almost cost me my life. Oh, it's such a shame, you know, because Billy could have been a rich boy. Yeah. Billy? Billy! I, I, I thought you was dead. Yeah, I just heard what you thought. 
Oh, we struck it rich, Billy boy. Look, here's a draft for $40,000. We're in the mining business, boy. Here, I, I just signed a deal with Mr. O'Hara here. He's going to do the mining first. All we have to do is just uh, sit back and spend it. Tennessee tells us you're not Billy the Kid. I, I, I just thought I'd tell the truth, Billy boy. You know, there ain't, there ain't no reason for not telling the truth. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure glad to see you alive, Billy boy. I, I worried something terrible about you. Come on, boy. I'll buy you a drink. You know, kid, Hickok's arriving from Cheyenne tomorrow. He'll know if you're the kid or not. There's a lot of money riding on the kid. Don't get any ideas about leaving town. Not before tomorrow, that is. You ain't expecting Billy to go up against Hickok, be you? Well, he wouldn't have a chance. Let's get that drink, boy. If you'll excuse me, Miss Kate and Mr. Poggin. <laughs> How well do you know Wild Bill, Kate? Well enough. Why? There's a lot of people in town that still think this boy here is the kid. And a lot of money's riding on him. A little talk with Hickok. And we could clean up on this. Yeah. Hey, you may not believe this, but, but I tried to save you from those engines, boy. Huh? Right. Almost cost me my life, too. I thought you met up with some kind of trouble when I found your shirt with blood on it. Oh, I, I tore that. I was working on the wagon. <laughs> you thought that I was... <laughs> I thought you were dead. You thought I was dead. I liked it. Uh, celebration. Celebration. Yeah, let's have a little drink, huh? Chucky, send me in another bottle. Dolly? Take this bottle into spank. Okay, Chucky. Don't go away. I'll take it to him. Come on, Montana, give old Speck a little kiss. <laughs> hey, what happened to your face? Tangled with a wildcat? Yeah, baby, she sure was some wildcat. <laughs> <laughs> give it here, boy. Give it here. That's all, boy. And you can close the door on a way out. Fancy shooting there, Billy. I'm betting 500 more on the kid. Any takers?
When the crowd began to gather on the streets of Deadwood Town, Billy knew that Wild Bill Hickok would be there to gun him down. say that, Tennessee. Now, what do you want? I come to tell you that, that Hickok just rode into town. He checked into the hotel. Uh, Poker Kate and Fancy Poggins, they, they's with him right now, having a little talk about you. And they, they know that you're not the kid. Come tomorrow, you'll be dead, and they'll be richer. A lot of money being bet on you, boy, especially after tonight. Uh, I, I've been telling everybody you ain't the kid, but nobody will believe me. You're worrying about me again, Tennessee. You, you ain't uh, fixing to take Hickok on, are you? Oh, Billy boy, nobody's that fast. Not even Earp or, or Clay Allison. I didn't say I was taking anybody on. Yeah, but you're thinking it. I can see it in your eyes. Listen to me, boy. Leave now or you're going to be dead tomorrow. Oh, all you damn gunslingers is alive. Maybe. Hey, it ain't just Hickok that you gotta worry about. Sam Bass is gonna be here too, and he's gonna be firing mad when he finds out that you gunned down four of his boys. If you stay here tomorrow, you, you, you're just aching to be laid in the grave. It's mighty kind of you to worry about me so, Tennessee. Why the sudden change of heart? Boy, tell you what I want to do. I'm going to make you a full partner again, on one condition. Now, you leave now while you can. Uh, uh, go to them uh, friends you was telling me about. Uh, them, them engine friends. Is it me or that mine you're worried about, Tennessee? Confounded youngin. Summer is an army mule. Tennessee? Good night. Good night! Beautiful night. Yeah. Thanks for the drink, Kate. See you in the morning, Fancy. Good night, Bill. Good night. Well, Kate, looks like we're in business. Hickok doesn't know it yet, but he's working for us. Don't be too sure, Fancy. Hickok's no fool. Neither am I, Kate. Mr. Hickok. Yes? You don't know me. My name's Tennessee Thompson. I'd like to talk to you about tomorrow, if you got a few minutes. Seems like a lot of people want to talk about tomorrow. That boy going up again you tomorrow, he ain't Billy the Kid. Well, why is he passing himself off as the Kid? Well, he never actually said that he was. The town just sort of took it for granted after he gunned down Ben Hayes and, and Kurt Aiken. He gunned down Speck Greer and Hawk Russell, too. Those boys are pretty fast guns. Takes a good man to do that. What is it you want, uh, Mr. Thompson? I don't want Billy to, to get killed. No one's forcing him into a showdown with me. You know how young it's are. Yes, I know how they are. They all want to be a, a big man. Look, Mr. Thompson, I've never seen Billy the Kid, and I don't know if this boy is him or not, so I can't take a chance. Mr. Hickok, I, 
I just saw you uh, talking there to Fancy Pog and, and Poker Kate. Now, they both know that, that he ain't Billy the Kid. I understand, and, and I've heard that, that, that you're a square shooter. If you are, Mr. Hickok, you won't gun down that boy tomorrow. Are you over fast, Hubert? Pretty soon. Folks are going to be hearing about the Badlands Kid. The Badlands Kid? Is that what you're going to call yourself, Hubert? The Badlands Kid. Yeah, the Badlands Kid. And I'm going to be the fastest gun in the Dakota Territory. I bet Hubert could outdraw Billy the Kid. Yeah, I bet he can. Yeah, I've been thinking about taking him on. Really? <laughs> he ain't going to take on Billy the Kid. Yeah, you listen to me, Ernie. I can outdraw you, you any day. You come home and finish things out, Mr. Hickok. You bet your mommy wants you. I'm going to get you, Ernie. What time is it, Fancy? We'll be rich in ten minutes. How you betting, Fancy? Hickok looks pretty good. Turn it on her call. You're on. I still say Hickok's the fastest gun around. He ain't no faster than Billy the Kid. Got 20 bucks as he is. Hey, he comes down. He don't look so tough. You want to take him on? You don't scare me. Not a big talk, kid. Yeah? My brethren, hear me. More blood spilled here will only sink us deeper into the mire of sin. Let us unite in the brotherhood of good. For the Lord so wrote, man must know, man must walk alone. Morning. Morning, Wild Bill. Kate? Morning, Bill. Looks like a nice day for the showdown. What time is it? Two minutes to 11. Where's the kid at, Fancy? Kid ain't got a show. Where is he, Fancy? He'll be here. He's, he's better. I think he's afraid to show up. Where is the kid, Fancy? Now. Billy, you're going to get.
get yourself killed? came to kill me, Billy. I came to Deadwood to dig for gold. John Slaughter says you came to gun me down. I never saw John Slaughter in my life. That's true. You never saw John Slaughter. Are you Billy the Kid? No. He is the kid. What's your name, son? Billy May. He's just trying to talk his way out of it. Hickok's afraid of to make these men friends, and he heard me. Preacher, maybe you got something there. <laughs> you know, someday I'm, I'm going to read that good book of yours. We can begin together. There is a verse in Matthew that I think would be appropriate. <laughs> Here. Me? Read for yourself. Preacher. I confess, I, I can't read. Mr. Hickok, I don't know quite what to say to you. Forget it, Billy. Are you in relation to Boone May? He's my Paul. You know him? Sure. Hunted Buffalo with him a while back. Here he's living with the Indians now. Yeah. He used to be proud of you, Billy. Keep it that way. Stand here and watch a 15-year-old boy murdered? No! Oh, 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 oh
And I'm telling you, he's not guilty. He shot that kid in self-defense. Just how do you know it was self-defense? Because they're talking to him, he saw the whole thing. That's he right, David. He did do it in self-defense. Hang is too good for that, Billy. You keep out of this, you no good little varmint. Don't you call me a varmint. Shoot the fifty. Sam. That's he. Guess you heard about your boys. Yeah. Too bad. Town looks pretty riled. Ought to be. Same fella just gunned down a 15-year-old boy. Sam, don't you think it's about time we had a hanging around here? Yeah! yeah. Looks like a good day for one, Kate. Where's the kid now? Billy boy, you gotta get out of town fast. They're coming to hang you. <laughs> Sam Bass is leading them. Oh, they got blood in their eye, boy. Come on. Let's get out the back way. Take Little Bird back to her peeps. Uh, what about you? Never mind about me. I'll meet you at the Indian camp. Now get. Go on, Tennessee. Hey, look, I ain't gonna leave here with you. with me, they might hang you too. Now get out of here. Go on.
years for Bill. But they took him to meet his maker upon Lonesome Hangman's Hill. town preacher save the sermons for them that need it this boy is entitled to a fair trial he had a fair trial how about the stedman boy did he get a fair trial my boys did they get a fair trial two of your boys disgraced a young indian girl you know what they did and this kid took the law into his own hands when he should have gone to deputy harding but no he killed in cold blood shot ben and kurt when they was only funnin he hanged you're not going to hang him. I'm not going to let you hang him. <laughs> you do it get out of the way preacher or you're gonna get hurt if you hang this boy you'll have to kill me too preacher that tin cup of yours needs a filling now you go on back to town and get it filled in the Paha Sapa. In dead wood comes the wind is sighing on a hangman's hill the air is cold Billy In a canyon paved with gold Billy boy, he 